testing uh, we will open up our uh, code block tool and test all of this thing uh, together again okay so let me open up the tool in the following uh, more let's see on how we uh, apply our implementation basically you have to build first okay so now you can create an uh, hash table share with us a file hash table let's say one is basic one cpp okay so firstly we will create another structure and like the kind of uh, structure of the program The streams the namespace std okay, we have the main function okay. so as you can see that we are working on hash table it's actually a kind of an array so let's say you create an array let's say I call it h it's actually hash table you can say ht or h is fine right so you can provide a number in here right okay, let's say 7 Actually, in a, to better like uh, representing your code, for example, sometimes you want to increase the size, right? Because in the hash function, it will use the size and also in the display. So let's say you create a constant here. Following the constant, let's say you create a size with 7. So that you can actually uh, update this code to make all your code work again. So it's very simple. Okay? So we put the side here and then uh, we create a function what is called has function. The function is normally return the index uh, for an element to be inserted into. So I put an integer return type, you can do has function and then you can provide some uh, number, let's say the value that we want to insert into or it's also represent as a key and next, uh, very simple, you can return this uh, operation uh, using the percentage and then following by the sign it's actually finding the remainder of the operation right because uh, we want to find the index actually this is representing the index that we should insert this value into okay. next we can have the function uh, let's say uh, insert our data then uh, can provide here so when we insert our data here we can uh, need to provide some data right because we want to insert and next uh, in order to insert we can use the function first to create let's say an index or it can be a position actually it represents a position we find index hash function and then we pass our data inside and next you can also actually uh, call to the uh, array variable by using this position and then you can insert this data into it so let's say we put h of index we try to access to index this index number of the array we set some number right which is data it's very simple okay? So later on actually this is kind of basic uh, you can actually insert some data like uh, students and student you can base on the ID of the student or uh, date of birth and then you can insert many data inside like the uh, if you define our data structure like student has name uh, email last name family name and so on and so forth you can still be able to do that okay I think this function is simple and it's uh, done now we can create another function let's say display this is display an array display an array is actually hash table so we put the name display hash table okay that's because we create this as a global variable so the function either able to accept the parameter or not it's fine because it's global you can still use it inside a function so we're gonna loop through our data inside the hash table let's say k start from 0 k less than the size of the array which is 7 and then k equal to k plus 1 because we wanna have k 0 1 to 3 right so I'm gonna display our data here because our data actually uh, have from the first element to the last one and in our array we can actually display all of them so let's say we want to have the index 
So let's say I want to display K which is 0 and then we have some tape okay, at this position what we have is something like uh, the data so K and then we pass our data which is accessible by H variable here which is an array and then we actually display from the first element which is K for the zero so this we got uh, like a first element what is the data inside Okay, and then uh, I'm gonna display a new line so that we get a better look on our uh, display message. I think that's it, that we are ready to create the data inside the man. Okay. So in here we will see on how our data, for example, if we don't initialize any number in the empty slot array, what value we will obtain, for example, some slot in the array is not uh, insert any data so it will take the default value but sometimes some certain program like some language you will get the error message because that slot is empty when you display it there's some wrong number inside so let's say we uh, want to display this first say we want to insert some uh, data using this function but insert let's say we want to insert number five number Seven, number one. Okay, let's say like this. It's better. So number six. Okay, sorry, number ten. And then we will display our hash table. Hash table. Okay. So based on the rule, right? Number five, I insert it into the hash table by using operation uh, 5 modulo number 7 which is the side we will get uh, number 5 right so it means that number 5 will be inserted at the position number 5 for number 7 here modulo it will get the so the 0 right remainder so number 7 we put into the first index I mean uh, the 0 position and number 10 divide by 7 we got 3 remainder so it means that number 10 will be inserted into the position number 3 okay. so let's see how it works ok we're gonna display this ok something wrong we're gonna run ok let's check uh, the back message the back message here you may be missing some symbol or something okay. let's say the message here ok fatal error io stream.8 no such follow directory okay. I think maybe we don't need this one, but it just another screen. Okay, okay. As you can see here, number five we insert first, right? But it is stored at the position number five because based on the operation five minus zero by seven, we will get the position index is which is five, right? Based on the hash function, so five is insert here. And when we put number 7, number 7, uh, when divide by 7, the remainder is 0. That's why number 7 I insert to here based on our logic to find from our hash function. And so on and so forth, we get uh, also number 10 will be inserted to number 3. Okay, I think that's it. And um, you can also try another uh, insertion that you will overlap. You will see the collision. For example, I put. Uh, let's say number 17 okay number 17 if we divide by 7 the remainder will be 3 right so it means that this number 7 will be overlapped to this if this will be overridden number 10 we will not obtain anymore we get number 17 okay so we get this as you can see here number 10 are gone right because the data are uh, conflict i mean uh, they are inserted into the same position that's why okay Okay, so in here, I think uh, that may be it for the basic uh, syntax for hash function. And just uh, for your information, I would like to clarify in this part a little bit. Like you initialize array. So because some uh, of the function, they will not work this way. In this case, you, as you can see, you get 0, 0 here, right? This is called the default value of the array element. We did not insert any number into position, right? But we got number 0 here. So uh, to control your program, sometimes it does not always zero. Okay, based on the compiler and program architecture, you may get different default value here. 
So I think a better form is you can create a function, let's say, and to initialize this number. Let's say you create a function initialize array. Okay, initialize array. Because when we display array, we display everything. Right? So let's say you looped okay, from 0 and k. Let's then the size of the array be 7. Then you have this number. Okay, let's say you insert the, some data to it. Let's say a of k equal to any number that you like. So let's say it's 999. Okay, that's okay. Just this is you decide the default value, right? Otherwise, you will use the existing way. For example, just now we got zero. Okay? So in this, you can initialize your array. Just call it into the very first line in your main function to assign this. Okay. All right. So in here, you see, this is representing in the element that did not use any number, right? So normally, we try to set any number that as much as far possible that. We don't expect this number to be inserted in our array. Okay? This is just for your information. You can actually disable this, it's fine. But however, if you don't, uh, for example, some architecture, you will not able to display the default value. There will be something wrong or compiler or none because you try to access to the element of array which and not yet have any data to set into. Okay? So I think that's it for this video and next the video and we're going to look on how on how we work on the collision and which uh, able to apply which call linked list because when we insert our data into the table if some data are overlapped we actually still able to store it by using linked list operation okay so actually uh, each slot in the array here should be defined as a linked list okay the first element insert here and then if we insert another element we still be able to insert to this slot by using the uh, link list okay so we will see in the next video thank you